Hey y'all, welcome back to Life More Abundantly with Chancia. As always, I pray that you are doing well. I wanted to come on here just to release this word regarding kingdom marriage. Um, this phrase has been in my spirit and God has been speaking it to me for several weeks now. I couldn't find out why I couldn't shake it and then what God was really saying regarding it. And so I had been hearing the phrase, you don't know how much you mean to me. You don't know how much you mean to me. You don't know how much you mean to me. And God was really stressing this phrase to me. And he wants many of us to understand and recognize how our kingdom spouses are feeling about us. So this word is in regard to that phrase. If God has been speaking anything to you similar to this, then this word is for you. And so God led me to this song, um, not to this song in particular. I had honestly just downloaded some songs from this artist, but this song just so happened to be included in the album that I downloaded. And as soon as the lyrics began to play, I'd never heard the song before, um, was unfamiliar with the artist, um, but I like trying new artists. And so this song is called Relationship Goals by God Fearing. Again, it's called Relationship Goals by a young man named God Fearing, and he's a Christian rapper, R&B artist. And so the lyrics go, you got me like, ah, you don't know how much you mean to me. I love the way you believe in me. We be fighting together for kingdom peace. So I want to just stop right here at the hook. You got me like, ah, you don't know how much you mean to me. So our kingdom spouses are like, man, like every time I think about her, every time I think about him, I just feel like, ah, like, man, like, they get me. It's a, it's a refreshing to, to have them. It's something that I cannot put into words. It's indescribable. Your spouse, your kingdom spouse may not be telling you how they really feel about you. And there's a reason for it. And we'll dive into it a little later in the lyrics. But please, please hear me when I say God is saying to you that your kingdom spouse admires you. They genuinely love you and they want to be with you. There are just some things that God is working with them on. But please be encouraged that they think the world of you and you mean everything to them. You mean everything to them. I need you to get this. You mean everything to them. And as I always say, please take this word back to God because it's not for everyone. Um, it is for those who God has specifically showed you who your kingdom spouse is, and also for those whom God has told you that you are getting married in this season um, in a specific time frame. And so I'm always mindful and letter to the Lord to say that because a lot of individuals will take this word and run with it and remain in a relationship that God has not planned for you to be in. Moving forward with the lyrics, it says, I love the way you believe in me. We be fighting together for kingdom peace. So they love the way that you believe in them. The fact that they have ghosted you. The fact that they may not be as open and vulnerable with you as you are with them. They love the way that you believe in their change. They love the way that you believe in their identity in Christ. They love that you see them as God sees them. You love them as God loves them. And you believe in them as God believes in them. And they love that about you. Then it says, we be fighting together for kingdom peace. So they see that you are fighting together with them for kingdom peace. They feel and they they know who they are in the spiritual realm. They're, they've just been afraid to embrace it because of the weight that comes with the anointing that's on their life. But they are visualizing and, and seeing that you two are a force to be reckoned with, okay? And God is bringing you two together. This portion is for specific individuals. Many are coming together now, not just in the spiritual realm, but in real time. Real time, God is bringing you together now. The verse says, I love the way that you drip with your style. You got the sauce. I love the way that you carry yourself girl, you're a boss. So it says, I love the way that you drip with your style. You got the sauce. So they, they literally admire the way that you dress, the way that you um, present yourself, the way that you style yourself. Like they just, <laughs> they like, man, it don't matter if this 
if this girl got on a trash bag. Like, it's just the way, it's her personality, it's her style. It's just something about her that triggers me. Or there's just something about the way that he carries himself that just draws me to him. Then it goes on to say, I love the way that you carry yourself. Girl, you're a boss. So your kingdom spouse admires the way that you present yourself, the way that you carry yourself, the way that you dress, the way that you speak, the way that you walk, the way that you live. They admire that because you are rare and they see that. Then it says, girl, you're a boss. So they understand that you walk with power, you walk with authority, and you walk with your head held up because you walk in the power and the authority of Jesus Christ. It says, all the way up and you didn't need no help. Girl, you a star. Just like the police, can I get with the cuff? So child, your kingdom spouse wants to cuff you, okay? And not only do they want to cuff you, but they are going to make it known to you. Will you be mine? And this is a for everything. I feel this in my spirit. This is a forever thing. It's not just, okay, let's just be together for a few months or maybe a year or so, but no, will you be mine forever? Come on here. I hear the word everlasting in my spirit. This is an everlasting thing. When God brings you two together this time, there is no splitting up. There is no separation. There is no, oh, I need time to think about it. No, this is a forever thing. And they're going to make it so crystal clear to you that they want you, only you, for a lifetime. Then it goes on to say, when we talked for the first time, yeah, I loved it. I ain't even gonna lie, I was running. So this word in particular, this part in particular is for those who were in prior communication or a relationship with your kingdom spouse and God allowed you to be separated for his purpose. When we talked for the first time, yeah, I loved it. I ain't even gonna lie, I was running. So many of the kingdom spouses, absolutely, they knew they knew from day one of you two meeting that you were the one. They knew that there was something significant about you that the others did not have. And it, there was a drawing and there was a pulling and a tugging in their spirit because God was even then revealing that this is the one. God was even, the, I don't care if it was years ago, God was already revealing that they are the one. But when it says, I ain't even gonna lie, I was running. They were running from it. And there's a reason why they were running from it. It says, thought you would break my heart and go fumble it. They were running because they thought that you would break their heart and fumble their heart just as others did in the past. That's why they were running. That's why they were, that's why they didn't take you serious. Because they didn't wanna open themselves up to be broken again, to be shattered again. So please know that it was not necessarily you. It was just they needed to heal and recover and be redeemed from things that they had gone through in the past. And then the words go on to say, I ain't know the whole time you was coveted. So they did not know that the entire time you were in dealings with God. You were in covenant with God. You were in relationship with God. Okay, they did not know this. But now that God has revealed this to them in clarity, they're like, oh, yeah, I can rock with her. Yeah, for sure. I can rock with him because that's one that's going to cover me in prayer. That's one that's going to be my best friend and my husband, my best friend and my wife. I have everything I need wrapped up in one person. God trust them with my heart so I can trust them with my heart. God trust them with my emotions so I can trust them with my emotions. God trust them with my life so I can trust them with my life. I can trust them with my forever because God has assigned them to me and God has assigned me to them. God has revealed to them that you are in covenant with them so that your intentions for your kingdom spouse are pure and they will know that and they won't be afraid anymore because God is revealing things to them. On behalf of you it goes on to say you keep me up when I'm down and was struggling I love when you come around keep me company so they love the encouragement that you always bring and a lot of times you don't even have to say words it's just that your presence and the anointing on your life literally the anointing on your life carries the glory of God so they just feel they feel God when they're with you which means they feel loved, they feel empowered, they feel encouraged, they feel strengthened. My God, I feel this word. They feel God when they are with you. Holy Spirit, I bless you. It goes on to say, you keep me up when I'm 
down and was struggling. I love when you come around, keep me company. So your kingdom spouse loves when you come around. For those that were in prior communication or relationship with your spouse, they absolutely loved when you were with them. Sure, things may have been a little rocky, but when it's all said and done, as God is now removing the veil from their eyes, they understand and see that, man, I could be going through a lot, but every time I was with her or him, it felt like the weight was just lifted. And they're coming around to that and seeing that, finally acknowledging that God is giving them the courage to embrace that and not to be fearful of what will occur when he brings the two of you together. It says, I need you right now. Can you come to me? He set them all down. It ain't nothing to me. So I want to break this down real quick. It says, I need you right now. Can you come to me? Many of your kingdom spouses, God is going to lead you to. And what I mean by that is um, Genesis 2.22 talks about, in so many words, how God brought Eve to Adam. Okay, many of us will get stuck and caught up in religion and we'd be like, okay, the man needs to come to the wife every single time. Not necessarily. And again, take this word back to God because everybody's circumstance and situation and how your love story will play out is completely different from the next person's. Okay, so God may have the female reach out to the male, the kingdom spouse. God may have the male reach out to the kingdom spouse, the female. So please get clarity and revelation from God by taking every word back to God because your situation will always look completely different from everyone else's because it's strategically planned out for you. And so God was revealing to me that there are some that God will lead the woman to the man, okay? God will lead the woman to the man, whoever this is for, and you will know if this part is for you because God has already been speaking to you and revealing things to you in your alone time with him. It says, I need you right now. Can you come to me? So many will have to pack up and go to, I feel, move in my spirit, the word move. Many women will have to pack up and move towards their kingdom spouse. Why? I don't always know. That is God's knowing, and he has a reason for everything that he does. So again, take this word back to God. But many women will have to pack up and go to their kingdom spouse. What that looks like, again, God will reveal that to you. But I feel the word move in my spirit. And then it goes on to say, he set them all down. It ain't nothing to me. And what this means is God set them all down. Who is them? The counterfeits. God set every counterfeit down that was standing in the way of the both of you, that was standing in the way of your reconciliation, that was standing in the way of you two being united. God set them all down. And then it says, it ain't nothing to me. So your kingdom spouse is not going to be tripping off of the counterfeits being moved out of the way. He's not going to be, he or she is not going to be tripping off of, and in specific, this portion is for the women. But I need you to know that your kingdom spouse, your husband, is not going to be tripping off these females. He was before God began to reveal you to him. But now since God has made things clear, he's not going to be tripping off of, oh, I got to let this go. I got to cut this off. I can't do that no more. He is going to willingly do it because God has revealed you to him. Then it goes on to say, we doing Bible plans and growing in God. We follow the Lord and we ain't going to ever stop. So you two are not only going to come together um, as husband and wife, but you're literally going to be growing and building the kingdom of God together, Bible study together, praying together, fasting together, studying the word of God together, doing ministry together, traveling to do ministry together. I feel that in particular for someone, you are global ambassadors and you two are going to be, God, my God, you're going to be atmosphere shifters and changers over the globe, okay? There is nothing local about you. There is nothing mediocre or average about you. You will be global changers, okay? 
Then it goes on to say, we follow the Lord and we ain't going to ever stop. So your impact on the world will be an ongoing domino effect. It's not just going to be like a hit it and quit it type thing or we were in ministry and then we fell off. No, like when you two come together as a power couple, my God, and God is revealing some things to me even now, but I'll share them um, in another video um, per his allowance. And so it goes on to say, you don't need another man. I'm doing my job. You mean the world to me. Yeah. So they are going to let you know that I am here. I will be your best friend. I will be your husband. I will be your confidant. I will be your safe place. I will be everything you need me to be. You don't need it. You don't need to keep looking. You don't need to keep searching. And this part is for women and men. You do not need to keep searching. Like your kingdom spouse is going to let you know, like, look no further. Like, I'm ready. I'm available. I am here. I'm willing to do what it takes to have you. I'm willing to do what it takes to keep you. I'm willing to do what it takes to please you. Like, you don't need to look for it in nothing and no one else. I'm, I am here. Then it says, you mean the world to me. Again, your kingdom spouse is going to let you know how much you mean to them. You mean the world to them, which means you mean everything to them. You are well underneath God, but you are like literally life to them. You bring life to them. You bring joy to them. You bring peace to them. My God, you bring peace to them. So um, whoever this word is for, I pray that it really, really encourages you. Again, please take this word back to God as he is the only one who knows detail for detail. I am only the mouthpiece of God as a prophetic voice. So I only know things in part. So please take this word back to God. If you would like to sow into this word, you can always do so being led of the Lord. Um, those details are in the description box below. Thank you so much for all of the love, support, and prayers. And for every subscriber, please know that I'm constantly covering you and praying um, that God moves in your life just as he is moving in mine. Till we talk again, I love you with the love of the Lord and have a beautifully, beautifully blessed, prosperous remainder of the week. God bless.